Hey guys, it's Pra from PD Tech HD, and in this video, I'm going to be running through the initial setup as well as a first look on the Google Nexus 7 tablet. So, let's get started. Alright, so for those of you that don't know, I did do an unboxing video of the Nexus 7, but the battery level was too low to even boot, so I said I'll make a separate video showing you the setup wizard as well as a first look. So this is what that video is. So let's just hold down the power button to give it the initial boot. Alright, now while this is booting up, I just want to tell you guys quickly something is basically, I haven't used this tablet since uh, filming that video, so it's been a week, and I checked the battery level earlier by just plugging the charger in, and you won't believe this guys, but the icon was basically... Um, steady which means that those fully charged completely so there's been no battery leakage at all which is very impressive for the Nexus 7 because I know that iPads and iPhone and stuff like that it does leak um, if you don't use it for a while but anyway guys we're here at the setup so English UK that language is fine so I'm just gonna hit the play button and it's asking me to put in the Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna do that off screen so I'll be back in a bit alright so it's connecting to Wi-Fi and we're just waiting for it to actually connect okay so it's asking me do, do I have a Google account so I'm just going to put the credentials in, uh, so be back in a second. Okay, so it's just signing into my Google account now. Let's just wait for it to do that. Okay, so it's asking me backup and restore, so you can use your Google account to backup your app settings, Wi-Fi, and stuff like that. So I'm going to allow that, so just press next. So now it's going to restore it. Um, when it says restore, I'm not sure actually what it does, because from what I've seen, it only sort of restores the wallpaper. It doesn't actually, it downloads your recent apps, but it's not like a pure restore, like complete cloud restore as like iOS uh, is, which is quite a negative, but maybe I'm just not restoring it properly, I don't know. But Google location, I'm going to turn that off for now, but I will re-enable that later. So it says just a second, and setup complete, so we're ready to actually explore the Nexus 7 now. So let's get started with that, so it says these are all yours, touch to view purchases you've used recently, so okay. And wow, this, okay, Jelly Bean, really smooth, like Project Butter. You know, like scrolling through home screens, um, multitasking, okay, there's obviously no apps here, but let me see if Google Music works automatically. Yep, it's got all my songs, so that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, let's see, what else is there to do? Um, okay, so it's got a few books already included, which is quite nice. So let's see what says, Frankenstein. So, okay, so you can, whoa, I like that page animation, it's quite smooth looks pretty cool um, yeah <clears throat> um, so obviously Chrome is the default browser now in um, Jelly Bean so let's just give you a quick tour of that and this is the actual like tab interface Chrome that you can see so you can actually make tabs and so on so let's just quickly go to um, techcomsfirst.com which is a website that I co-admin so techcoms whoops put it wrong first. And you're getting a look at the keyboard as well. The keyboard works well in portrait mode. You can also do it in landscape mode, um, I believe. Or do you have to enable that feature? I'm not sure. Does it work this way? No, scroll down. Um, oh yeah, enable rotation, this one. Okay, and then we can type in landscape. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. What's quite cool, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but basically when I was typing tech comes first, it automatically realized it and you can see if the camera wants to focus a bit that there's like a clock icon it's basically got it from my history that's um, from my Google account so that's quite smart so let's see techcomsfirst.com and yep there's a website it loads like fully no issues there so that's quite cool um, one thing I want to quickly show you uh, before the video gets too long is with the new notifications you can now expand I believe can you not there was a way to do it Okay, maybe not, I'm not sure. Well, can you shrink it? No. I've seen some people's videos where they can sort of shrink the email notifications, I'm not sure. Maybe it only works in some cases. I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, you can see that there's sort of like a line preview of each email, and it's telling me I have a few updates, so I'll install those in a bit. But this is the new like notification style. Jelly Bean, like, it's a lot more interactive notifications. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for a first look, um, just to show that it is Jelly Bean, as I always do. Let's just give you a quick look at the Easter egg. So if you don't know, you go to About Tablet on the Nexus 7, and you just repeatedly tap the... Oh yeah, Android version is 4.1, so yeah, Jelly Bean. 
you just tap on it and then there's a big ass like <laughs> sorry huge jelly bean you just hold it down and there it is and it's also in landscape mode you, so you just fling away the jelly bean and stuff but yeah overall guys first impressions really impressed with the Nexus 7 um, it will take me a while to get used to because this is actually the first tablet that I've like properly used I never really thought I'd buy an iPad or anything so the price mark of um, 159 for the 8 gig and 199 pounds for the 16 gig was just too tempting so I'll let you guys know how it works as my first tablet and stuff I'm really excited to use it um, it'll take me a while to get used to as I said but I'll hopefully bring you some more coverage in the coming weeks but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this um, the setup wizard as well as the first look please let me know any comments down below um, sorry if I didn't show you that much I don't really I'm kinda out of my depth here I don't really know what to do it'll take me a while to get used to as I said but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for more Nexus 7 coverage as well as other tech videos. Please subscribe if you haven't because that will let you know when I post a new video. And um, thank you very much for watching. Please check out the last video which was the unboxing of this tablet um, that you'll see on your screens now. So just click that annotation and you'll get to that video. But thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care. Bye.